says how I lost my weight, how I struggled and managed to lose my weight from a certain um, um, weight to a certain weight that you can see me today. And guys, you may wonder, have you lost weight the way you look? Yes, I've lost weight, guys. I used to be heavier and I have worked towards losing this weight up to where I am today. And I want to tell you that because you only have one body in this lifetime, you have to work towards your body and towards losing weight. I have been uh, working towards my weight for a long time but there's only one time that I can tell you I surely did pat myself on the shoulder and say mm, congratulations you have done good that particular time is the time I lost 11 kgs in eight months and uh, eight months is a long time for you to lose 11 kgs in eight months is not the best there are people that have lost weight better weight much weight in a shorter period of time than the eight months I took to lose uh, 11 kgs there are people that have lost within a very short time through gym through exercises through um, dieting but I want to discuss what I did to lose my weight this particular time guys I was taking a lot of sugar in my tea <coughs> and I will tell you that I am a sweet tooth person sugar I could just put four five teaspoons of sugar in my cup of tea and i want to say shame on me shame on me that i used to do that because i know it is very unhealthy to consume so much sugar because it doesn't do you any good sugar is not good for the body so i was doing that while still i'm mature and you know when you are mature of age like i am and you take that kind of sugar you are destroying your body you know, as we age, our metabolism slows down. And uh, if you want to now add things like sugar and you want uh, maybe not check on quantities of food that you are consuming and also what kind of foods you are eating, you will mess yourself up. So let's just dive direct to the point and uh, discuss what I did in order to be able to lose these 11 kgs in eight months. Guys. I still remember that one morning I woke up and looked at myself in the mirror and said, Hey, hey, you don't look nice. You know, because of my height, I, I can be gigantic. I can be gigantic if I just uh, leave it to, to come, if I leave weight to come. I can really be big. So this particular morning I looked at myself in the mirror and I said, Hey, you don't look good. You have to do something about your weight. And because I'm that person who used to wake up very early in the morning, at seven uh, o'clock, I've already taken a cup of tea. I used to wake up at six, but uh, seven o'clock, I've already taken a lot of uh, a cup of tea with a lot of sugar and uh, three slices of bread uh, smeared with butter and jam. I woke up one day and I said, "No more sugar. No more sugar, first and foremost. I don't even want to talk about the butter and the jam and everything else." But I said, "No more sugar." I also sat down and spoke to myself and I said, what is this tea? I'm an addict of tea, such that if it got to 11 in the day and I had, have not taken tea, I would severely suffer headache. So I was, um, you know, an addict of caffeine. And I said, I better just go do away with this tea, but not uh, completely. What I did is I decided no sugar and the first meal will be at midday. And that meal will be maybe a cup of tea because tea I have to take. And whatever uh, that tea will not have any sugar. Whatever I may take with that tea is not even an issue here. But I decided I will not uh, put sugar in my tea. My tea used to have a lot of milk. And um, I don't want to tell anybody to stop taking milk because I, especially at, at my age, we need that calcium and I don't want to say that. But I chose that particular season and I said, from tomorrow, I'm waking up to take uh, black tea and uh, without sugar. Then I can yeah, take that breakfast with something else, like maybe an egg or two. And maybe uh, even, even if it means that uh, a fruit. But uh, there's something else that I want to discuss here that helped me a lot. I cut off carbohydrates. And I don't want to advise somebody to cut off carbohydrates the way I did, because I surely did cut. To a point that I said no carbs, no carbs, no carbs, no carbs for months until I start seeing change. And you know the body needs the carbs because sometimes you are working, you need that energy. So I, I cut off carbs and I could just eat maybe um, 
uh, that black tea in the morning without sugar then i eat um with uh, some egg or then with a the fruit and i call it a morning and i said two meals in a day so the next meal that i would take would uh, be uh, supper but you are asking me how would you even survive the whole day up to uh, maybe seven in the evening without taking something else and i made sure that i am also uh, putting in something else in between but that something else is something very 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 little in the form of an apple all uh, uh, a citrus uh, fruit and uh, nothing carbs i said nothing carbs let me also tell you that uh, i could uh, maybe at one time be tempted to even eat two spoons of food if that food doesn't have carbs i could be tempted to eat that but i needed protein because you if you don't eat a lot of protein especially when you are not even putting in carbs the body is going to be weak so i could at least eat some chicken or some meat but supper i made sure that i also ate very very little i want to talk about portions here people may think that uh, because you have taken a whole day having not eaten much in the evening you need to eat heavy and and sleep on a heavy stomach i did not do that i made sure that my portions my portions i could weigh my the weight of my food when it is in the plate and i could do like this <laughs> and i could imagine that weight on my stomach and i said this weight is not going to get into my stomach i made sure that i ate retro as retro as i could so that i don't gain weight so i lost it and i it, it was not easy uh, i'm that person who doesn't burn very fast i lost weight after eight months that's when it was visible and i kept um well, taking my weight and I could see maybe I've lost a kilo, a kilo and a half, two kilos. And now I'm on the sixth month, yet I've only lost four kgs. And I was like, hey, all this effort that I've put. So it was not easy to burn out. But then let me also tell you something. That I needed to walk a lot. And you people already know, even according to my videos, that I do walk a lot. Every morning I wake up to hit the road. So that particular time... I had seen a doctor and the doctor had said, okay, do not ever stretch your knees. You don't need to run because I had a problem with the right knee. You don't need to run. Just walk and walk and, and walk and walk. So I made sure that I walked a lot. <coughs> and I was waking up. <coughs> Go and walk before the sun comes out. Then come, make sure that I'm busy up to about 11, 30, 12. Then I take my breakfast, that is black tea and uh, maybe um, two eggs or three eggs. I could even take three eggs. And that is enough for the stomach, that is enough. And a fruit, usually a banana. And I could just leave it at that. Then I continue um, staying. And uh, <clears throat> at four, I could really feel hungry. <clears throat> Most of the times, there's something that is blocking my voice. At four o'clock, I could really feel hungry. And that is the time that maybe I could take an apple and it pushes you. It just pushes you. You may be asking yourself, how she, about she's not talking about water? Huh? How come she's not talking about water? I was taking a lot of water. You know, you just cheat the stomach when you feel like you are hungry. I know water is not very present on an empty stomach, but you could just uh, drink two glasses of water and that water gives you the energy to carry on up to the hour that you have said in your heart that you will eat something so i was there doing that and i could drink water i could make sure that it is not very cold it's just the room temperature many glasses of water and uh, always hydrating my body my body i used to hydrate my body most of the time with water i know you you may be tempted to ask uh, how about things like uh, juices juices if they are not um, very sugary maybe you could take but i didn't i just did with water and i know it is a sacrifice the body craves the body craves for these sweet things and guys do you know on the eighth month i took my weight and i said 11 kgs and guys eight months is a long time <laughs> eight months is a long time and you know you will not stop because you still don't want to go back to that weight of yours so it was like a milestone that I had reached and I said congratulations to myself. But still, I had to carry on so that I don't gain back this weight. So had my stomach gotten enough, um, I mean, has it, had it gotten uh, accustomed to, to now doing without uh, food? 
Ah, uh, because the quantity of food, the portions. Oh, did I talk about the portions? You watch on the portions. If you don't want to be big, just watch on the portions. There's this muscle that falls here. This muscle just was sagging up to here. And I was like, I it, this muscle had, had, has to go. And it is still there, as you can see, but it is not uh, sagging as much. And I had to make sure that it, I don't see it, even as I lift my neck. Uh, and um, with our age, uh, you will not, uh, it is not easy to do away with it. But I said, this has to, you know, I have to sustain. So sustainability is, it means discipline. So I was disciplined enough not to increase on the portions. Uh, very disciplined not to uh, add sugars to my tea. Very dis disciplined to take proteins, enough proteins because of the mus muscles, building up the muscles. And lastly, taking a lot of water. So how about toning? <clears throat> toning was taken out care of by the walking that I used to do. And uh, uh, if I could uh, stretch a bit, like uh, I could do a bit of stretchings. And um, actually, let me tell you that I'm not very well toned to this day. I cannot sit here and tell you that I'm toned. My muscle here is flabby. My thighs still have got cellulite. So I'm still work in progress. I'm working on the, my thighs and my flabby arms and uh, toning my body to the point that I would want. So guys, I did that and this is how I lost 11 kgs in that duration of time. So how far can you lose? Do you have any other body other than this one that you have? How do you take care of it so that it, it remains serving you and for a long time you have to make sure that you do it because this is the only body that you have. So guys, please subscribe to this channel that is if you haven't and we'll keep giving you hacks and things to do to cut weight and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.